TV. I'm Jonah Weiland in our speakeasy in the No Horse District of Southern California. Sitting to my right is writer Max Landis. How you doing, brother? Better and better. Uh, I just went through two breakups. Me and the love of my life separated, and my favorite restaurant rebranded and took all my favorite things off the menu. So I'm spinning right now. You Which have me in a very <laughs> emotional moment. <laughs> Uh, Which restaurant? Uh, it was a restaurant called Cube on La Brea. Oh, I feel like I'm talking shit now. Yeah, like, you like, are. Call, Let's talk shit about the, Cube. I'll, I'll call them out publicly. Why did you take all the good stuff off the menu? Why, why did you? Why, I'm, in my head, it's like, why did you do this to me? Of course. Uh, <laughs> it's a very personal matter. Of it's ridiculous. I, I didn't know I had a favorite restaurant until it was too late. Isn't that always the way? You don't, don't know you're in love. Don't take things for granted, man. You don't know you're in love till they leave you. Well, all right. We're not here to talk about relationships or restaurants. We're here to talk about comics and other fun stuff. Mm -hmm. You, of course, are writing a, a seven-issue series from uh, called American Alien. It's a Superman story. Yeah. And, it's not, though. But it's, it is and it isn't. It's, it's about his early life, I guess. Well, no. It's, no? It, it's, it's just, I... It, it's interesting, because it is a Superman story. I'm being very pretentious by saying okay. it's not. And I acknowledge that. But it is, you know, we're considering on the cover having a banner that says, this is not a Superman comic. <laughs> uh, I'm, and be, just because it it's about Clark, and it's not, it's not, you know, like Birthright, it's not an origin um, in that way, but it's a Clark, it's a, I think, the first Clark Kent comic. Interesting. I want to start, we're going to start with a little bit of controversy that arose after it, was, it came up, because you said in a press release, I sort of wanted to do the opposite of All-Star Superman with this book. And that ruffled some people's feathers. People thought you were dismissing Morris's work, and I don't think you were. Well, it was, it was interesting, because the full quote from Comic-Con is I kind of want to do the anti All-Star Superman, which of course is the greatest Superman comic ever written. Yep. And I don't know who redacted that quote, but uh, that was the full quote. Because, uh, you know, Grant, Grant Superman is the ultimate mythic uh, totem story of Superman. It's, it's the most evocative of a feeling of this summer camp bubblegum sensation, while at the same time being this incredibly intelligent you know, long form storytelling that isn't over complex. All of the craziest ideas Grant has are introduced in this very pat, here it goes way. Oh, Jimmy's in drag, whatever, sure. You know, just everything in it, this key weighs a zillion pounds. Everything in it feels like an update of the 19, really the 1940s comics, 1950s comics. And of course there are elements of the 70s, more surreal psychedelic Superman in there. But, you know, that's the best one. And when I said I want to do the opposite of that, it's because mine is not mythic. Mine is about a guy named Clark Kent from Kansas who is an alien. Uh, it doesn't much figure into his life. <laughs> and it's, it's not a big epic Superman story. The first, of the, the first issue is like the most basic dumbass Smallville story I could write because I just wanted to write. I've always wanted to write Superman. I want to write that. Mm -hmm. So the first issue is very simple. And then things get you know, a little less simple as, as we go. But by anti, I meant that, uh, uh, you know, All-Star feels like a comic. It feels like the most comic booky comic ever in, in a way that's so, I mean, you eat it if you read All-Star. You just meh, 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 yep. meh, done. It's not like, you know, it's, it's not trying to be anything it isn't. It isn't filmic like a Why the Last Man or it isn't, uh, you know, an action thriller like, uh, you know, the, the Batman that was my favorite, which is the 1994 to like 2009 Batman run, uh, you know, with Nightwing, the Bat Family, and right. you know, all right. them. And, and that never feels, it, you know, some comics jump head on into being a comic, and uh, All-Star Superman is one of them. This is less that, and more like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it's, it's the stories this guy would tell you if you knew him. Okay. And so there is no thematic connection. Okay. There is no uh, bright, shiny uh, Fortress of Solitude. There is none of that. And I'm not pitching it as the grit and gritty Superman. Anyone who reads the first issue, it's like the least gritty. It's like a Pixar movie. Sure. Uh, but, wow, I'm really explaining the hell out of a quote that was misquoted. <laughs> I listen to how defensive I am. I take like five minutes to explain a misquoted quote. I just love All-Star so much I could talk about it all day.